Now the moment to announce the winner of the 1982 Booker Prize, Booker McConnell Prize for Fiction. I'd ask John Kerry, Professor John Kerry, to come here and announce, make the announcement, and uh, also Michael Caine to present the prize of £10,000 and a leather-bound copy of the winning novel. And here, first of all, is John Kerry to make the announcement. Applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure and honor to announce the winner of the 1982 Booker McConnell Prize. And the, novel I and the winner is Thomas Keneally for his novel Schindler's Art. Many congratulations. Thank you indeed. Uh, congratulations from us too, and from John and from John Kerry. Yes. yes. This is. Thank do you have anything to say to us at this precise moment? Well, um, I had nothing prepared. I was, uh, I was prepared to uh, water down and console the um, people from the Hodder and Starton stable, <laughs> and get them back home safely. <laughs> um, naturally, this is the greatest. Um, um, night of a lonely career, I can but console the others who are here because they are conspicuously young. Uh, all day I should warn the judges, I've been asked, is it really a novel? And uh, I've said that I'm delighted that I don't have to answer that question. Uh, the judges are going to have to answer it tomorrow. I'm astounded that they had the courage to put themselves in such a position. I wish them well with the task. Uh, last of all, uh, no, second last of all, I, as a man who believes that gambling is as important as literature, I hope Mr. and Mrs. Pollard and their children survive this blow to Mr. Pollard's career. And. The other remarkable thing is that although I think in all good conscience the book is a literary work and a novel, uh, it is um, um, necessary to thank the people, the characters who are actually alive. And one of the characters is a luggage merchant from Los Angeles uh, whom I mentioned earlier in the recorded interview, Paul Deck Pfefferberg or Paul Page. Um, not only could I recommend his merchandise, but, <laughs> but uh, he was the man who gave me the story, and I'm in the extraordinary position of, uh, th that's akin to that of a Hollywood producer when he humbly accepts his Oscar and thanks so many people. Normally a writer doesn't have to thank so many people, but most of my characters are still alive, and I'd also like to remember the extraordinary character whom Oscar was.